you for calling customer service. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and you're ready boy to this video. Let's talk about technical support representative. Ano ba yan? Kaya rin ba yung TSR na yan? Ano ba ang mga ginagawa niyan? Ano ba ang uh, proseso para makapasa sa mga call ng pagiging isang TSR? Maraming nagsasabi, mahirap daw ang uh, technical support representative. Well, pag-usapan natin yun ngayon kung ano nga pong nasasabi niyo sa isang pagiging technical support representative. Bibigyan rin ako ng sample video ng isang mga call. But before that, I would like to inform you na magkaiba ang technical support representative sa IT technical support. Ang IT technical support, ito yung mga empleyado na, na nilagay sa isang department o sa isang organization para i-maintain or i-monitor ang computer system or configuration system ng isang company. But, um, while yung technical support representative naman, ito naman yung mga call center agent or mga parang customer service representative din pero more on technology or more on technical. So, in din na yung mga customer kung paano mag-troubleshoot, kung paano ayusin yung mga sira ng mga devices, appliances or ng mga gadgets nila. So, yun ang pagkakaiba ng technical support representative sa IT support or IT technical support. So, yun. Welcome sa channel ng mga suwabe. Ako nga pala si Kuya Renny Boy at gumagawa ko ng mga call center. Sure, tips, tingling ko na nakakatulong sa mga aspiring applicants. Kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, make sure na natapos ang mundo. At naklik mo na yung subscribe button at yung notification bell para updated ka pa sa mga paparating ko ng mga videos. Marami na nakapasa sa channel ni Kuya Renny Boy at kung gusto mo magbilang sa kaswabe of the day at sa mga hashtag hard applicants ni Kuya Renny Boy, Join ka lang sa aming call center GC through Viber or pwede ka rin sumali sa aming call center practice via Zoom every Friday yan. So, asahan mo ito dyan. Kaswabe. So, yun. Marami na nakapasa. May isa kasi available yung local account namin. Work from home setup na ako at saka yung mga non-voice account. So, check mo lang palagi yung description box ni Wera. Anyway, baka sakaling makatunong ako sa'yo. So, yun. Hindi ko na ito pa natin galim. Papakita ako ng sample video ng MAPOL para sa technical support and then magpapakita rin ako sa inyo ng mga sample questions with answers mamaya sa bandang huli ng video na to para mapaganda nyo yung interview or account validation para sa technical support representative application so yun, masyarating ka na naman at napanood mo to hindi ko na tapat natin galing umpisa na natin Thank you for calling XYZ Internet. My name is Rene. May I please have your phone number and subscription account number, please? I'm sorry. Can you please repeat yourself? I'm sorry. Can you hear me okay now? I was asking you about your phone number and subscription account number, please. Well, before I give you my account information, I just want to let you know that I'm really pleased. I can't access my email for almost a week now. I'm paying you guys a lot of money and you can't even provide a decent service. What's wrong with you people? I'm real sorry for the inconvenience. I would probably feel the same way if I'm in your situation. But don't worry, I promise you that we'll get your issue resolved. Let me get first your account number so we can check your account. Would that be okay? Sure, my account number is 87,000. Got it. May I please verify the name and the account and also the phone number you registered to it? It's Robert Smith. My number is 1234567. I'm the account holder. Thank you for that. I can actually see your account now. Based on my observation, it shows that it shows here that you're not getting a DSL signal. That's why you can't get online or check your email. We can actually fix this problem over the phone, but I will need to walk you through on some steps. Would that be okay? I've gone through the steps, believe me. I've already checked everything before calling you. Oh, that's good then. But can you at least check for me which lights are lit up on your modem? Fine. I have power and internet lights green on my modem. 
The third light is flashing red. I don't know why. Thank you for your patience. As you could notice, the DSL light is flashing red on your modem. That means that you're not getting any DSL light or DSL signal. The good thing is, based on your initial test results here, we don't have network problems or outages in your area. That means we might be able to fix the problem over the phone. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Great. You might have already checked on it. But since we have the DSL light flashing red on your modem, it's telling you right away that there could be something wrong on the DSL line. It's the gray phone cord at the back of the modem. Jeez, it's right behind my desk. Do you want me to crawl down the floor again? Well, if I send someone out and they find out that there's just a loose phone cord, then you will get charged for the dispatch fee. So we want to resolve the phone, um, the, prob the problem over the phone so we could avoid dispatch charges or dispatch fees. It will also save your time. That's all we need to check. Okay, okay, okay. But this is the last step that I'll do. Don't hang up. Yeah, sure. Don't worry. I won't hang up on you. Oh my goodness, the gray phone cord was just loose. Let me plug that in. Oh my. There's now a steady green light on the DSL light of the modem. Let me just try now the internet. Wow, that's good to know. Let's just see if you can now get online. Before we hang up, can you try one or two websites? If they are working. You know, Rene, you're a legend. You're a miracle worker. Thank you so much. You got me now my homepage and my email. No, you did a great job. I was just giving you the steps. You did great today. But do you have any more questions or other concerns? You know, I feel so stupid for calling about this. But I surely appreciate your time and patience. You're welcome. We are open 24 by 7 just in case that you'll need our help again. And again, my name is Rene. We do value your business. And thank you for choosing XYZ Internet. Have a blessed day. So yun, ang sample video natin ng MACOL para sa PSR or Technical Support Representative. Alam ko ay naman na madali na lang sa inyo yun, lalo na yung mga graduate ng BSIT or Computer Science, Computer Technology. Alam na alam nyo na yung mga terminologies dyan sa Technical Support sa isang pagiging PSR. So, magbibigay rin ako sa inyo ng top 3 na tips na makakatulong sa inyo sa pagiging technical support ninyo. Tip number 1, aralin ninyo yung basic golf ko ni Kaya Rene Boy. I'll link it up there. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yan, makakatulong sa inyo yan. Kasi sa map call, kailangan alam nyo din yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga step. Paano mag-verify ng account, paano mag-closing spill, mag-opening spill, mag-probing may customer para mas ma-determine natin kung ano yung concern niya. Ang, ang kaiba lang dito sa technical support, Mas, uh, mas kailangan mas accurate tayo pag nagbibigay tayo ng procedure kay customer. I-walkthrough natin siya and syempre requires a lot of patience. Lalo na pag medyo may edad na yung kausap mo rito talaga ultimo space bar hindi alam nung customer. Pero dapat malawak ang pasensya natin. Ayun lang guys. Sana nagkaroon kayo ng idea no? Yung iba kasi marami nagtatanong kay Kaya Rene Boy. Mahirap ba maging TSR Kaya Rene Boy? So, ang lagi ko sinasabi, wala namang mahirap sa taong prosigido or talagang mapapadali naman ng isang bagay kung minamahal mo yung ginagawa mo. Yun lang mga kasabi ko. So, tip number two. So, tip number two, identifying hardware and software solution. So, alam, so, yan yung mga technical support na or meron ng background sa IT, sa computer technology. Alam nyo naman na siguro yung mga terminologies dyan. No? So, hindi ko na, hindi ko na to masyadong i-specify. Kapag alam nyo yung hardware, yung concern ni customer, syempre, ang ibibigay natin na resolution pag nagtatroubleshoot tayo is all about hardware. And then, kapag software naman, dapat knowledgeable din tayo about sa software kung paano mag-reboot ng mga system, mga ganyan-ganyan. And alam ko naman na kaya ang kaya nyo na rin yan. Tip number 3, educate your customer and at the same time provide self-service options. Hindi lang ito masasave yung HT mo or yung average handling time mo. Eh matutulungan mo pa na si customer na gawin yan in the future on their end. So hindi mo nila kailangan bumalik, tatawag na naman. At o, tatawag ulit sa ganitong klase ng concern. So kapag binibigay mo yung mga self-service option, 
kapag naranasan na rin kayo yung ganyang klase ng issue or yung ganyang klase ng configuration problem in the future, kaya kaya na nilang i-resolve yan on their end. Hindi na, nila, hindi na sila kailangan tumawag. So, this is the most cost-effective way kapag nag-assist tayo ng mga customer dito sa technical support. So, yun lang guys. Sana may natunan na rin sa video ni Kuya Rene Boy. Shoutout sa lahat na nagpapashoutout. And syempre, God bless us all.